So, what am I doing here in a pretty unprepossessing spot leaning against a waste bin? Well, just sometimes some really interesting plants, some really pretty plants, can be found growing in the most unprepossessing places. And behind me is one of them. This is common whitlow grass. Let's go and have a look. So this is a tiny member of what you believe the cabbage family. It doesn't look much like a cabbage and you wouldn't uh, get much of a meal out of one of these. Um, it looks as though it's got eight petals, but in fact the petals are split. And the small white flowers have four petals and each one is split halfway or a bit further down to the base. It's an annual plant and so it sets seed every year, it comes up in spring. I'm talking to you now in late March. It's been flowering for a couple of weeks. It's already got lots of seed pods on. It'll set seed and then next year, uh, very early in the year, the leaves will come up. They'll start absorbing the sunlight, photosynthesizing and making sugars. And then eventually it'll get enough energy so that it can flower and produce seeds again. As I say, it's uh, related to cabbages. Those are the crucifers, the Praticaceae. Um, and crucifers all have four petals. If you've got weeds in your garden and you see a plant that looks a bit like this, that's probably chickweed and that has five petals which are split. This one has four. And it likes growing in rather rough places. It likes uh, pavement cracks and ball footings and so forth. Its native situation, of course, would be on rocky places, on gravelly spots. Uh, but it does very well on wall footings uh, when the council are not killing it with their horrible weed killers. Aerophila verna, common Wicklow grass.